The changes I've noted on right whales through the years has been that while our diagnoses of vessel strikes continue to be a problem, the entanglement problem has been getting significantly worse. The entangling gear, if it doesn't kill them, it immobilizes them to some degree, it affects their feeding capacity and their ability to reproduce and help the species recover. My name is Michael Moore. I'm a veterinarian and a scientist at the biology department in the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. I spent much of my life uh, studying the relationship between humans and marine mammals, and whales in particular. I've specialized in establishing for each mortality the role that the particular types of industry have had on the conservation crisis that the species is facing. I'm trying to put good data on the table so that the managers and the stakeholders can all figure out how to deal with the problem. And here we are today in a fishing port working with local fishermen and I think it's really important. My name is Rob Martin. I'm a commercial lobster fisherman. I've been fishing now for about 40 years. We just finished my sixth season of a closure in February, March, and April, the right whales in Mass Bay. It affected at least one third of my income potential, not being able to go, and if you're closed, you're closed. The Massachusetts area closure was focused on the data that showed that North Atlantic right whales are most numerous between January and April, especially in Cape Cod Bay. By removing the gear out of the water column for that season in that area, they achieved a very substantial risk reduction. From my perspective, we need to remove the rope from the water column. We can't just re-engineer the rope, we need to remove it. If I can help uh, raise money for development of systems that take rope out of the water column, well, that's what I'll do, and that's what I am doing. Success. It's coming up. To open that closure to low risk fishing is a very important part of the next step. So folks like Rob can actually make a living again. And the way to do that is to figure out the lowest risk possible in terms of how to set the gear to maximize their ability to do their business, but minimize the risk to the whales. When the fisherman goes to haul his gear, it will be marked on the surface when it leaves the boat and we can get actual location on the seafloor where it landed. The fisherman will send an acoustic signal through the water through a transducer in the bottom of the hull. The modem in the trap will be activated by this wake-up signal. At that point, the fisherman can send a, a trigger signal to inflate the lift bag. Depending on the size of the bag and the depth of the water, you can pretty much time it when it will appear on the surface. I want to be at the table figuring the stuff out. What can be done? I can use this, we can't use that. That's no good. That's got a possibility. I want to solve a problem. There's a acoustic water. To have everybody together, it's like, a mesh or braided rope all together. You all got to work together from each factor, from an engineer, scientist, and fisherman. That's how you get stuff done. If you don't, you're never going to get nothing done. The fishermen understand what they need to do to fish. We understand how the whales need to survive. And it's only when we can communicate directly and collaborate that we're actually going to solve the problem. <laughs>